Hello and welcome to Nintendo Switch Daily. I am sat here waiting for the Nintendo Direct to start for E3 2019. I am so excited. We are currently about five minutes and 10 seconds away uh, from it starting. So um, just before it starts, if you're watching this um, after, um, feel free to skip five minutes ahead um, and we'll get the full reaction there. Um, but I'm just going to go through what my predictions were and then we can see at the end if I'm actually right, which will be quite fun. Um, so I've got some written down here. So first off, um, Pokemon is obviously going to be there. They've already done a Nintendo Direct for it. I'm not expecting anything major. They'll probably show off like one new thing um, because they've already shown off like a ton of new stuff. I'm expecting something really small, um, similar to what it was like last time. Uh, then uh, Luigi's Mansion, I'm expecting gameplay of that they're going to show us more of the game i'm expecting an october release for that i'd be really surprised if it doesn't around halloween make sense um we've got zelda's link awakening links awakening i'm expecting again lots of gameplay i'm expecting them to show um something new about the game in terms of like we know it's a remaster obviously it's completely well, more of a remake than anything um but i'm assuming they're gonna add some stuff in i don't think it's just gonna be just the game with prettier graphics nintendo aren't really into doing that that much they always like to add a little something in so i'm expecting that uh we've got marvel's ultimate alliance i'm not actually expecting anything really new from that i think they're just gonna just gonna show off the game um just to get people more excited i think we pretty much know what most of what is uh happening in that game already so i'm not expecting too much from that i just think they're just gonna show it off and just be like reminder go and buy it um now, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is the big question, isn't it? Because um, there was that screenshot that was thrown out um, not that long ago. Uh, well, probably a few days ago now where um, Nintendo showed off what is playable um, actually at E3. And that was the one game that was uh, absent from it. All the other ones were there, like Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, Zelda, Luigi's Mansion, Pokemon. All those were on it. But this wasn't, um, which does worry me. I know it's not a game that may particu particularly demo well. Um, on a show floor like that but it's such a big game it just doesn't feel right that it it would just wouldn't be there at all and um, so my assumption is it's either i don't know it's either they're just going to hold off completely until way later um which i think would be a mistake because people would be really angry if that happened um but if not it might be delayed. Um, Nintendo don't actually tend to delay games that often, but like in the case of like Metroid, for example, where it was just so bad that they just had to restart it. I don't think that's going to be the case with Animal Crossing. I think it's a pretty easy game to make for them um, in terms of like, they don't have to add too much to it, but it could be delayed for various reasons, which would be a bit of a hit, but that would explain why it's not here now because it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't buy that it's just because it doesn't demo well, it's not on there. Um, so I'm expecting them to show something and I'm expecting them to tell us about what's going on with that game if it is a delay or something like that. But we'll see. Um, Damon X Mach Machina. We've not heard anything since uh, it was shown off in the Direct quite a few months ago now and they did the, the beta demo, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm assuming they're going to show that off and tell us when it, it's going to be released. Um then Smash characters, what Smash characters are we going to get, which kind of leads me into the next bit, which is Microsoft, um, this, well, I think it was yesterday, literally put out their um, like schedule, like this is what you need to watch from us and all this stuff. And it had the Nintendo Direct on there as like, this is for, um, watch this for updates. And it's like, what? What's Microsoft got going? We've got a minute and 35 seconds left, so we're going to hurry along. Um, so my assumption is it's literally just going to be uh, we're going to see Ori and the Blind Forest on there. I I'd imagine they'll announce that game and Banjo Kazooie. Come on, surely, surely Banjo Kazooie is going to come to Smash Brothers, possibly. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see a Smash character. What could it be? Um, that's the only one I can think of. But then we have no idea. Nintendo are crazy and like they put Joker in it. No one saw that coming. Um, so here we go. Um, I don't know what other characters we have had. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so what else have we got? Astral Chain or Bayonetta 3. I can't see them showing both games. I think it's going to be one or the other. We've got 51 seconds left. Um, I'm So I'm kind of like, I don't know. Which one are they going to show? Which one is going to come out first? I think that's the question. I don't think we're going to see both. Surely Bayonetta 3 is first because we only just heard about um, Astral Chain not that long ago. Um, so I'd be really surprised if that one's not coming out first. But we'll see. Um, so then, 
Um, my car- I don't think we're going to see... There's going to be no Metroid. I guarantee it. 24 seconds left. No Metroid. It's not coming. If it doesn't come now, it's not going to come until Metroid Prime 4 comes in like three years. Um, I really want Spyro. Spyro, please release uh, now. And then I'm not expecting any new consoles at all. Get that out of your mind. That's not going to happen. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so that is pretty much everything. Oh, I know PUBG would be nice on there too. We'll see what happens. But here we go. We are starting in three, two, one. Here we go. This is exciting. Just gonna turn it down slightly. Okay. It's a nice little opener. Look how colourful the switch is. What is this? Okay, so we're getting our Smash Brothers um, announcement straight away, which is kind of cool. It's going to be something dark. This is quite a dark trailer, really. Something on a horse. It's Dragon Quest XI. It's the main guy from Dragon Quest How did nobody think of this? How did we not think of this? That makes total sense. He fits in perfect. He fits in perfectly with uh, Smash Brothers. How did nobody think of that? How did nobody think of that? It makes sense as well because we've had we've had Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, which again, up until right now, or well, like, like the last Direct, We've never had Final Fantasy VII on a, on a Nintendo console, and yet here we are. So this totally makes sense. Um, it's a nice little partnership there. I love that that Smash Brothers kind of has so much leverage with everything. Like like everybody wants their characters in Smash. Oh, that's just reminding me the guys from Cuphead really want Cuphead and Mugman in in um, in Smash. The oh, that would be so cool. They need to make that happen. Who knows? We might get more than one announcement here. Okay, so I'm assuming these are just like different costume, like different skins for the character. They're going to be the same one. We're not getting three characters. <laughs> that would make no sense. I'll make a note of the uh, release dates of stuff as well, so I can review it at the end. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder how you make those options while you're in the middle of a fight. Like, be interesting. There you go. It just makes sense. I don't know what else to say. Um, and there's obviously echoes of the Elusive Age S Definitive Edition. So um, you're going to get that. It just benefits both parties, doesn't it? Because it promotes the, the game. Um, but also it's a really cool character for Smash. So it just makes sense, doesn't it? And then we're going to get... See? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so then they're just going to show a trailer for this. This was, they showed this stuff at the uh, Square Enix conference as well. Last night. So cool that they have the whole game in 2D as well, if you want to play it old school. So, just so clever. Really looking forward to this one. September 27th. 
Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. In this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, we'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute. There's been a bit of a mix up. Oh, you are gosh. not the right Bowser. Sorry, of but I'm the right Bowser. For nice way to introduce him, obviously. It's the new of uh, Nintendo America, I guess. Just like how how is it his last name is Bowser? How did not that happen? <laughs> no, no. Oh, gosh. This way. Oh, that was cool. Bye bye. Maybe next time. Are you related? No, but we get that a lot. <laughs> that was a well, weird walk to together. It. Please take it away. <laughs> Hi everyone. What was that? I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. This is our chance to show the world we have games for every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, we've got you covered. Okay, so yes. let's get a look at one of I the really want a tour. just a Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion, Mansion re remaster, if you like, for the Switch. I know we've got it on the 3DS. That's what I want. I want that first. Give me that first. That would be awesome. It's not going to happen, is it? Hello. And... Oh, this look this already looks like it's more just one one mansion Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel that's so with smart Mario, peach and the others oh lucky him Luigi's that's so mansion clever three. This hotel is much it's so much better having it in one place like in the first one than it was arrives, being all over the place things take a dark turn we begin our tour by taking and figured out a way to do it without it being the same. You may never leave. You want oh, to this leave. looks so good. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts after all, and they're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the straw bulb, then suck them off. It's like Luigi's so new cartoonish and like crazy. Has the powerful all the animations and stuff. Required. So cool. And other new features as well. First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. Next, the suction shot. Fire the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string and you can destroy furniture and more. Looks it's so effective fun. against certain ghost types too. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful <laughs> well, it's just like, pressure with these The way the animate his face and everything is and just so cool. When you need a little air. Ah, uh, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Change between Luigi and Guigi to use both their skills. Guigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he it's makes for a great co-op partner. But proceed with caution. Guigi and water definitely don't mix. Now, please direct your attention to the Scare Scraper. That's so, such a good idea. Yet it also houses up to eight players for local or what? online. What? There's like eight of them there. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads. And face any challenges the tower throws that's so at good. you. Because that's going to add a bit of longevity to it. Because obviously Luigi's Mansion was quite a short game. And then once you were done, you were kind of done. You could replay over and over again, obviously, for like high scores and stuff. But that'll give it some nice replayability, which I think it needed. What a place to wake up in! A haunted hotel with floor after floor of oddities, many traps and mischievous ghosts lurk within. What will befall our missing Mario and friends? 
and his dear this is brother crazy. Like, their locations are so diverse. Rests in your hands. Luigi's Mansion 3. Just available in 2019. Really? Really? So that was Luigi's Mansion 3, the latest game in a series that I personally love. And we can look forward to seeing some of the new gameplay elements that await in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3 2019. We'll be streaming content, some you've never seen before, right from the show floor, including live gameplay of Super Mario Maker 2. And on day three, our Treehouse staff will get their hands on some promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. While you watch today's Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon to learn what other games will appear on Nintendo Sweet. Treehouse live at E3 2019. You won't want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Netflix? What? Ogre slept. slept too long. Far too long. <laughs> Sing me your story. What has become of Is this <gasps> like from a show I have no idea no, what it is? No. What have they done? Avarice unchecked for an age. Evil takes root. Darkness spreads. But from this dark light. Brighter than the three suns they sparked a life. Heroes of Thra, strong and brave. Strength and bravery alone will not save Thra. No, unlock your true potential. Unite as one. Only together can you defeat what is to come. Heroes of Thra, they're going to need all the help they can get. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe so one of you can tell me what it is. Oh, here we go. Link's Awakening. This has actually come a little bit earlier in the in the uh, stream that I was expecting. I was expecting this to come more towards the end. Which bodes well for Animal Crossing, I think. I don't know how people hate on this art style. I think it looks so nice. It's so different as well to what, what we've had in the past. I mean, I don't, I can't think of a game that looked like this, but um, I think it looks so, so good. Oh, the fishing! I completely forgot about the fishing in that game. So good. Can we stay? Oh. Ooh, it's the grave digger off from Ocarina of Time. Can build your own touch. It's kind of funny because it's been like rumors for a while of uh, like Zelda Maker, like a Mario Maker, but Zelda. It's kind of like a mini version of that, isn't it? That's, that's really cool. But if you lay out the, the if you're laying out the, um, oh, look how good it is. But if you're laying out the te like the rooms and stuff, surely you're gonna know where everything is. So. How does that work? I wonder if you'll be able to share them, like, the, your dungeons with friends and stuff. Probably. Because they've got to get that Nintendo Switch online in there somehow. Square Enix. Wooded area. Probably Secret of Mana. <laughs> I believe that people, like, really wanted this for a long time. Um, let's see if I'm right. Oh, no. I was wrong. Take it back. Unless this is, like, a remaster okay. or something. An 
RPG Trials of Mana Trials. is getting a global I got the right series. I got the right series. <laughs> this looks really cool. Set destiny in motion with the power of mana. Trials of Mana. Trials of Mana. Early 2020. Oh, phone's gone off now. And there's the Secret Mana um, collection. Collection of Mana available later today! So you can download it today. Boy, that's going to be expensive if it's got multiple games in it because Square Enix loves to charge extortionate amounts of money for their games. It's The Witcher 3! Oh my gosh. You can tell it's on the Switch as well just because there's like no anti-aliasing around the edges of the stuff. Wow, that looks good for a Switch game. How, how have they put, like, this has been rumoured for so long, complete. Get all the DLC as well. This year, yes. I don't know how they've managed to get that on the Switch. If they do a cartridge of that, it ain't gonna have the whole game in it, that's for sure. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? You will come, won't you? <clears throat> Years ago, I really don't want to see loads of this now. Like, I hope they don't go into it all again like we've had that. I'm kind of done with it now. I mean, I'm excited for the game, but what we do I'm, I'm done with teasers. Last one of them. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. So the fell star consumes even the darkness itself. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! My teacher. Both sides of time are revealed to you. What shall we do? Uh... How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I hate that the games always come out at the end of the month. Why can't you come out at the start of the month? <laughs> Nintendo, Switch. Nintendo Switch is the only gaming console you can play not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. In fact, with a system like this, it might be fun to play Resident Evil at a location like this. More well, Resident Evil, hey? What is it gonna be? Just a Resident Evil 7. Oh. Was that a 7 in the trees? I couldn't tell. Where's the house? So I'm just assuming that's what it is. Unnecessary. Okay, let's do this. Resident Evil. So Resident Evil One. It? Try. What's so there? We've already got.
Oh, okay. Let's get Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 6? Is this... Resident Evil. Okay. So that's not actually going to be a Resident Evil game streamed, like which is that. interesting. Might not be my way because play, that's what it was in Japan, wasn't it? I bet Six you was streamed. Your way to play, don't you think? For now, please take a look. I didn't catch the release date of that off. It just said coming soon. Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird today. Oh, my earth. There we go, full Japanese now. <laughs> Uh, there we go. No more heroes three. I don't buy it at all that that um that Travis strikes again that they had to it had to sell well in order for this game to happen. Like did it heck? <laughs> they had this plan from the start. But don't you worry, a hero descends. What? There are no heroes in this world? Oh, but there totally are. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around, here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. Now let's there do you this. have it. Start the game. Is it exclusive? Nobody knows. No date or anything. Welcome. I'm assuming that's probably got quite a long development ahead of it yet. 2020. Okay. led an elite team of Contras during the war. Hungry Beast! HB is actually a cyborg. I love him so much. This is Miss Harakiri and her alien gut bucket. They survived by merging together during the alien wars. The gentleman, the sweetest bug you'll ever meet. You soiled my arm! What on earth is this? Contra Rogue. I'm not like a massive Contra fan, so I don't really know that much about it. It's probably people out there who knew what it was instantly. I'm like, whatever. Um, of course, it's the Contra Collection. Available today! Oh, here we go, Damon X Mac. I wonder if they've managed to fix the issues that people weren't happy with. I never actually played the demo. I actually downloaded it, just never got around to doing it, so. If you get in our way, we will eliminate you. A new awakening draws nigh. Looks cool, though. September 13th, okay. Oh, 
I thought for a moment we were getting Final Fantasy XIV for some reason. <laughs> that is my one big ask for the Switch. It was Final Fantasy XIV. This looks like that, um, I can't... I think it's called Crimson Dragon or something. It was like a launch game on the Xbox One. Kind of looks like that. Panzer Dragoon. Okay. This winter. Konnichiwa. Hello, I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Our Pokemon Earlier time. this month, we held a Pokemon Direct for the latest games in the series. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The developers from Game Freak showcased the new Galar region. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this game. It feels it's like it's Pokemon just you'll encounter there. almost there, but not quite. The, the giant Pokemon thing so is so dumb. Tuned. By the way, in these games, you can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus accessory, allowing you to take a Pokemon from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. You may not be able to use the device as a game controller, but if you spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. In the Nintendo booth at this year's E3, so, you can use the Pokeball. Can Pokemon Sword, why you can take your Pokemon with you, but first time can you play the game with it? That's what my question is. In this gameplay demo, you can challenge one of the gyms in can the Can you play the whole game with the Pokeball? The Who knows? Only water gym, because they didn't the water type really gym leader Nessa will be there waiting for you. If you're attending this year's show, I encourage you to experience. I hate the giant Pokemon. It's so stupid. Which is an advanced strategy. Because <laughs> so there's the whole Z moves and stuff in the sun, and it's like they, it's almost like they felt like they had also, to do something extra with this, this game. Direct, they've obviously got Mega Evolution things like that. Stay tuned for live gameplay. What the heck is Sword, the point in a coin match? And what happened to Armored on Mewtwo Nintendo and things like that? And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. Looks like Astral Chain, which means no Bayonetta 3 this year. That is what. There's no way they're doing both. Surely this isn't coming first. Something must have gone wrong with Bayonetta 3. Must have gone wrong with Bayonetta 3. If this comes out this year, something went wrong with Bayonetta 3 and they've had to either fix it, restart it, I don't know. If you remember at the last one as well, it was, it was like, just a reminder, we are still making the game. This looks cool though. I'm happy either way. I'll give you some parting advice. Your power, it's not the blessing you think it is. When a Legionis and a Legion are perfectly synchronized, it's like they're two parts. What is going on body. in this game at all? The override release isn't going through! That's impossible. And when half of that body is about to die, the Legion's survival instincts kick in to save it. No way! There's no way! What good could this possibly be? It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have. It's all up to you, my friend. A blessing from the Legion. Or maybe I should say, a curse. We can't, we can't turn, turn back, back now. now. I've got to know the whole truth. truth. He's, He's still, still alive, alive out there. there. I know he is. is. I don't know what's going on, but it looks good. <laughs> 30th of the 8th, that's even sooner than I expected. Which is concerning for Bayonet 3. Unless it's Bayonet 3 right now. It could be. Nope. <laughs> Strange. Don't know what's gone on there. Oh. 
What's his remedy? Interesting. They do like uh, their um, backwards in time stuff, don't they? <laughs> Oh, that, I love the setting for this game. This looks great. What was that? That looks really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Death by our hands and here is our Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Let's see if they give us anything new. Even with this stone at my command, this may not be a battle we can win. Whatever's happening, we can beat it. I'm so ready for this game. I'm really surprised they didn't have a, Mar a big Marvel game come out at the same time as like as uh, Endgame because it just would have made so much sense, wouldn't it? But I've been craving that um, that Marvel game. And here we are next month. Pay for what they've done in blood. All hope is fleeting in the face of Thanos. There you go, July 19th, of course. And they're selling an expansion already. <laughs> get the expansion today. Why would you get that today? Oh, Crypto ne Necrodance. I've got that we're getting the Hyrule version, aren't we? This looks really cool. I literally just downloaded the um, first game. So it's, on, it's on sale now for like three quid if you're interested, if you want to play it before this one. And so I'm excited to try it out before this one comes out. June 13th. June 13th? That's in like two days, isn't it? I don't remember surfing being in the Olympics, unless I'd missed something. Or skateboarding. It's cool, I think it needs to expand a little bit, so... Again, we've not had a Mario and Sonic at Olympics or a Winter Olympics in so long, it feels like. So, I'm, again, I'm up for this one. And oh, is that like a 2D version? Oh, that's so good. Rock climbing. Again, is that in the Olympics? I'm not sure. <laughs> Horse riding there. Horse riding is always the best. This looks really cool. Yes, I do like um, decent sports games, uh, like motion control so, stuff. Just with friends, so it's fun. It's good laugh. Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Please take a look. I actually missed the uh, release date for that one, but it is this year, I think. Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. What is it? Animal Crossing! Okay, so they're showing it. When is it coming out? My heart says. September. My mind says delayed. It looks great. I don't care. I just want to know what's happening. Is this more camping then? Is this going to be more in the... Surely not. Look at the water effects and the rain! What? 
whole fault in a game. You know what? I know it sounds stupid, but that's probably one of the best things they could have added because it's so annoying having to go all the way around the river. Look at the way you dig! Oh, this is just when it needed just like a nice graphical update because obviously it's been on 3DS and handhelds for feels like forever. Um, oh, there you go. Delayed till uh, March next year. Yikes. Oh dear. And there's your loan. <laughs> so it's still going to be the same. I'm assuming you're just going to have more freedom to like title as a build more release. stuff. However, we need to change its release date there to you March go. 20th of Delayed. I'm actually shocked. To ensure that the game I didn't quite believe it <laughs> in my head, even though I kind of predicted it. Oh, that's we so disappointing. I was so ready for that this year. Beth's gonna, my Crossing. wife's going to be devastated because she loves... Loves Animal Crossing. On Nintendo Treehouse Live, the game's producer, Mr. Nogami, and the director, Ms. Kyogoku, will come the on end? for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game. I'm kind so of please stick around apart, until yeah. it starts. By the way, there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo that. Switch from Nintendo I just can't quite partners. believe it. That's so disappointing. So, That's not a game you want to live, but at the same time, you want them to make it well, don't you? So. Okay, we're getting a sizzle reel. Let's make sure I get all the dates down for you guys. Spyro! Spyro! Yes! Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. I know it sounds... I finished at Platinum Dot on the PS4. I'm so ready to take it with me. What was... I, can't, I didn't even see when it said that. I think I just saw 20. Nino Kuni! September. September is getting packed. Oh my gosh. I don't care about that at all. That should have been released today. That is so annoying. I, I remember them showing it. Ugh, annoys me. I'm just going to try and make a note of the big games because I can't get all these down in time. No date on Doom Eternal, so no point writing that down. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say Spyro is probably September because I think they did the same thing with Crash. I think Crash released in September. So, so if that's right, um, that is going to be one heck of a packed. Oh, is it Spyro? I think we both did, to be fair, initially. That is going to be a packed September. Crystal Chronicles Winter. July 12th for that. on earth is that? Netflix again? What is this? Are Netflix just producing games now? I'm not putting in just dance. Refuse. <laughs> Super Lucky's Tale. I forgot. Where's? Surely we're getting Ori now. Or not? I missed that again. What was it? Was it was that September again? <laughs> I don't know. I just put end of year for that one because it was too much to take in. Surely that isn't it. Oh, boy. So we're getting some Super Smash Brothers stuff, surely now. Because surely that's not all the Microsoft stuff. Oh, there's Banjo Kazooie. There we have it. Oh, finally. It was just so obvious it was happening. Just make it. I can't believe how much effort they go into for these like reveal trailers. It's crazy. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. <clears throat> <laughs> there he is. That was genius. There you go. Even Donkey Kong is excited about it. Oh, he looks so good. Oh, come on, Microsoft. Let us have 
uh, Banjo Kazooie. From uh, just put the rare replay on on the Switch. That it just makes all the sense. That it sells so well. Look how good he looks. Crazy. Is that his level as well? Wow, that's so cool. So this must be coming out quite late then, unless it's just a shadow drop now, that would be so cool. Shadow drop us. Banjo. Autumn. Disappointing. <laughs> you got to wait quite a while um, for that one. That is going to be a long time to wait. That obviously wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? Please stay tuned for more information about DLC in the future. <laughs> Looks like that's it, guys. As for what a way to Switch, finish. We have more games in development beyond what we've shown you today. I'm looking forward to the so pretty good. I think there's a few disappointments in there, but Spyro's coming to Switch, so I don't care. <laughs> I actually don't. Before we end this direct, I actually oh. have one more thing to show. Got one more thing. Thank I don't know why. What, what, uh, what have time. we been waiting on? That's not come out. That's not been released yet. Something to do with Final Fantasy, maybe. It's got that kind of color scheme. Oh. Sounds like um, Zelda. The sound, like the sounds and stuff. It is Zelda. It's Breath of the Wild Zelda as well. Surely we're not getting another expansion. I wonder if they're just going to turn it into like a. A game they just keep adding stuff to, I don't know. Is this gonna be like an origin stuff? I don't know. Is it gonna be like an origin stuff? I don't know. And then like the star what the heck is that? That had the um the on this pendant it had the what Okay, the castle was going into the sky. A sequel? What? It's now in development. Right. <laughs> I got the look of confusion on my face because that's how I genuinely feel. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I really hope... It's further along in development than what it was when Metroid got announced because that very much felt... I mean, it obviously had more to it. Um, let's pause it. Let's finish it there. Um, so that obviously had more to it than the Metroid Prime 4 reveal, which obviously was just a logo. Um, I have mixed feelings. <laughs> You'd think I'd be, like, dancing around the room because I'm so excited because literally Breath of the Wild is, without a doubt, favourite game of all time. Um, or matched up with Metro Prime, the first one. Um, I think I'm more just worried now that this is like miles away and we're going to have the same situation that we did with Metro Prime 4 where it was like, I mean, it was obvious. People were obviously being, it was a different, it was a different situation with Metro Prime 4 because people just, we were just desperate for it all the time. Whereas with this, I, I don't feel like people were expecting it. So I don't feel like they needed to share that that early unless it was like ready to go like next year, um, which I'll be I'll be just I don't know because I know they want to release like a Zelda game every year, but I think it would have made would it have made more sense to release next year um, like Wind Waker HD collection? I don't know why I said collection Wind Waker HD um, release that and maybe like uh, a port or like a, a remaster of um, Skyward Sword, which a lot of people have been asking for. I feel like that would have made more sense. So I don't know. I mean, totally, I want it. Like, 
give me more of that but i'm just i'm just really surprised but i guess it has been like three years since we've had breath of the wild so if they have another year i guess if they they would have had to start straight away though i don't know i don't know how far away is it how long do you think let us know in the comments like do you think it's next year do you think it's gonna be longer i don't know but i i feel like if if this is planned to be out longer i i actually annoyingly <laughs> would have preferred them not to say anything so i'm mixed feelings that that trailer was so cool though and i'm so intrigued to know what's going on there is it going to be like an or like i said is it going to be like an origin um i say when i say an origin story i mean is it going to be like a, a prequel to breath of the wild or is it going to be literally next bit i don't know but again how is that going to work are they going to like just use the same world and you're going to explore it's just going to have different stuff in it is it going to I don't know. Is that castle going gonna gonna go somewhere now? Um, oh no. Okay, so the the video didn't actually say. <laughs> so uh, I have to bear with me because I have to figure out how we're gonna. Well, the video will make it look slightly different. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we'll go from there. But. Um, I'm excited for it. I just don't want to be too excited. I don't want to be too excited because I don't want to. I don't want to be sat around waiting for it for like four years now, um, because that's what I'm used to. But that aside, <laughs> that was just a, so, it was so unexpected. I don't think anybody was going to call that. Um, what just happened? Anyway, uh, going back to this. Anyway, so let's go through. I just going to quickly. So I'm more interested in what our year looks like now. That's why I get excited for E3 because I get to know what we're going to be playing for the next year. Um, but Nintendo kind of have this thing going at the moment, don't they? Where it's like they have one big release every month. That's what they want, and I think that's so great. It annoys me that it's always at the end of the month, not the start of the month, when you actually get paid so you can afford it. <laughs> but uh, so let's see what we've got. So, I mean, this month we've got um, Hyrule, uh, what is it, Cadence of Hyrule, is that what it's called, from um, Crypto the Necro Necrodancer. That's coming out June 13th, which is in like literally a couple of days. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, then we've got Mario Maker at the end of this month. Next month we've got... Um, do, 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 do. It's hard to pull this thing. This is just so much so quick. Uh, we've got Dragon Quest Builders on July 12th. Um, we've got... Uh, we've got Fire Emblem at the end of that month, of course, uh, on July 26th. I didn't see anything for August, unless I've missed something. Um, so that might be the only quiet thing. We just got absolutely just packed September. We've got Dragon Quest XI, which is going to be crazy. Um, we've got... Fire, uh, not Fire Emblem. We've got Damon X Machina, September 14th. We've then got... Uh, what else have we got? Nino Cooney. What? What? I mean, that's the thing. I, 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 Not the second one, the first one. The first one is the one I wanted because I really got to play that game a fair amount and I absolutely loved it. But again, because I was tied to the TV, I just didn't have the time to jump in like I would have wanted to. So... I'm so happy I'm going to play just so much that game. Can't wait. Um, and we also got, I think, I think, um, I didn't actually see the date, but I think Spyro was September again. So that September is just insane. There is so much going on in that September. I don't think we saw anything for October, but I'm sure one of these games that haven't had um, an actual fixed release date, it'll probably be that. I'm assuming Luigi's Mansion. It just makes sense. I think they're going to push it though. It looks like the game is pretty much done already. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting that. Look really cool though. Witcher 3, which didn't have a, a date, um, could be that as well. That not that insane? How on earth have they managed to fit that game onto the Switch? I have absolutely no idea. Um, and then November, we've got Pokemon, of course. Um, there was that Mario and Sonic at the Olympics somewhere uh, in there as well. Um, Astral Chain... Oh, there you go. That, that was our August game. So Astral Chain 30 the 8th. No Bayonetta 3. Again, how do you feel about that? Are you got one preference or the other? Would you prefer what, you want something new or do you want Bayonetta 3? It doesn't matter because Bayonetta 3 is not going to be... I'm assuming that's that's going to be way later next year now, without a doubt. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if we're not going to see that till about August next year, which I'm sure will disappoint a lot of people. But gosh, what happened there? What happened there? But um, that's coming out way sooner than I was expecting. So that's your August game. Um... And then that's most of the main stuff uh, from what I saw. Um, unless I'm forgetting anything. Uh, let me go back through it. 
Oh, Zelda Link's Awakening. I don't think... I think I that did get a release date, but I've missed it somewhere. I think that's probably towards the end of the year. So it's... The Nintendo are doing such a good job of just making sure that we have got a big game every month. And now it's like, because we've got... There's more third parties on board. We're getting multiple games every month, which is just so cool. Nintendo are just absolutely killing it. I it was... How was that for me as a as a direct? It was pretty good. I think we got some surprises. So happy with Banjo Kazooie coming to um, coming to Smash Brothers. That was. I mean, I was getting really confused. I was like, why has Microsoft put so much emphasis on like watch this? And I still don't really feel like I get why that happened because I'm like, they showed Super Lucky's Tale. Where was Ori in the Blind Forest? What happened there? Um, but Super Lucky's Tale. I know people hate on it again. I, I played like over half of the game and it's actually a really good game. I think definitely pick that one up if you're into things like Banjo Kazooie and that. 100% worth it. Um, but for that and um, and Banjo Kazooie coming to Smash, like, why was why was Microsoft promoting Nintendo? It makes no sense because I don't I don't think even people who maybe don't follow everything to do with games they probably don't even get that they are Microsoft properties now. Um, so really confused to why they were pushing that. Um, but stars of the show, Luigi's Mansion looks so good. I cannot wait for that game. It's so clever how, because I think everybody really just wanted it to be back in one mansion and to be exploring that one place rather than being like all over the place in different mansions, which I think was kind of a silly idea, but I, I get it. It worked for the 3DS, but what a clever way to do it, put it in a giant hotel. And it's like the the locations are really diverse and everything as well, which you get that diversity while also um, being in that one place. It's just so clever, so good. The multiplayer looks fun. Um, I just can't wait for that game. It's going to be so good. But then uh, Zelda Link's Awakening. Oh my word. How good does that game look? Whew, I can't wait for that one. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance was okay. Um, again, it, it, it didn't show anything. I said it at the start, I don't think they were going to show anything new. They probably showed a few characters in there that haven't been announced, but I don't really feel like people care um, because they've been in other games before. Um, Damon X Machina looked fine. Um, Animal Crossing got delayed. I called it at the start, and yet here we are. Oh, I don't know what's happened to that game. Um, again, they just want more time. I but that's, that's the thing, we're, we're saying they want more time. How much more time do you want? I mean, is it possible? Is it possible that they've actually looked and gone, we actually have too many games? Because where would they put it? You know what I mean? It would have to come in probably September or something because November's just all Pokemon. December, I know um, Smash Brothers did a crazy job of um, selling like crazy uh, in December, but December's usually quite a difficult month. So it's like, where would it go? It would have to come in September. So if it wasn't ready for like September or October, um, I don't think it was. I think really, I think a lot of it has got to do with that March release. I think the March is a great place to put that. I think I don't think it's going to have. I mean, March is usually quite a packed month for other consoles and stuff. But I don't think they're going to be competing with themselves as much there. Um, so it makes sense. They might have just looked at the schedule and, like, like I said, they want that one game every month, um, and that just works better for them. But it looked phenomenal. I just cannot wait to get my hands on that game. They didn't have to do that much to sell it to me or to other people. I think. I think better graphics and stuff, adding a few quality of life stuff, like the pole vaulting across the river, how sick was that? Um, yeah, that was just so cool. Um, so I can't wait for that, and again, it's just like, that's what I'm talking about with the Zelda announcement, I'm like, it's killing me that I have to wait, essentially, like, what is it, like 10 months now, to get my hands on um, Animal Crossing, and it's like, how long are we waiting for if, if Zelda comes out next year, I'm happy, but um, gosh, if we have to wait for that one, it's going to be a killer. Um, Pokemon, I don't know how I feel about this Pokemon game because it, it's it's so halfway between what I want. And I feel like a lot of people are saying it's like it's almost open and like open world, you can remember, but it's not quite. And it's like I feel like they knew that, so they just put in that one section where Pokemon run freely and everything. I just don't know. I, I was playing um, Pokemon Let's Go today. I know again, people want to hate on it. I actually really enjoyed that game, but I don't think I can go back to random encounters after that. Like it just changed everything and is like finally brought into the into the present not 10 years ago um gosh i don't know i don't know it looks great i'm really excited for it i think the giant pokemon are stupid i don't know what they were thinking with that um literally makes no sense um but it's just their random encounters oh gosh i could even get past the it not being open world now 
Um, but oh, I don't know. I don't know how you look. Hopefully, this is just a step in the right direction. And when we get the next generation, probably in a couple of years, if we don't get like a you know sword and shield, ultra sword and shield or something, um, you know, hopefully it'll be a step in the right direction and they'll finally do that big open world that we want so much. But I am looking forward to it. I look forward to every Pokemon game. Uh, so that's, that's looking good. And I think that was mainly interesting. So the things that weren't there, no Metroid, called it. I, I call it every year, and I go right every year. Um, I think it's just obvious now that they're going to hold... They've definitely done the trilogy. I think it's ready to go. But I think they're going to hold it till Metroid Prime 4 is ready. You'll get that as a release maybe a year out to six months before Metro Prime 4 comes out because they want to maintain that um, excitement. Like, I know we all want it. I want it so bad. Um, but I think if they gave us it now and then we're all, you'll finish the three games and you'll be like, I want Metro Prime 4 right now. And it's not going to be here for like another three years, at least really. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's, it's just obvious. They practically started the, the game from scratch now. Um, they might have leveraged a few, you know, um, yeah, just a bit of work that they did already, but I think they've just gone back to scratch and they the start it from scratch. Um, which reminds me, like, what on earth happened to um, to Retro Studios' game before? Because, like, this confirms it now, like, their game isn't coming out, whatever they were working on previous to Metroid. Um, that ain't coming out now, is it? Because, <laughs> like, it doesn't fit in with this year. That Like, if it's, it, is, it was either done or it wasn't. So that worries me again. I'm like, again, I want to know what they were working on. Um, so no Metroid. It makes sense. I think I think you'll be thankful for it when it eventually does come out alongside Metro Prime 4 because uh, you won't be hyped for the game. And then I've been... Again, it's all about I do not want to be sat around waiting years excited for a game because, again, Metro Prime 4 got announced. It's been it's already been like two, two years, nearly three years. And it's starting again. Like, we don't want that. Um, so yeah, um, the Resident Evil 5 and 6 reveal was weird, um, completely unnecessary. I, d I don't feel like that needed to be in, um, the direct, but, uh, Capcom clearly made a fair bit of money off of that. Um, and I think that is pretty much everything, um, that's expected. And of course, and the last thing that wasn't there, of course, was n no new consoles. I don't know why people are expecting it. It made no sense. Nintendo don't really, well, now anyway, they don't really show hardware revisions at E3. At E3. It doesn't make sense. It'll be its own thing. Um, or if not, what Nintendo tend to like to do, like they did with the 2DS, things like that. They just, or the new 2DS, new 3 whatever. They just throw it out there as a press release and it comes out like they don't put them in, in things like this. Um, so I think it's still possible that we'll get the Nintendo Switch Mini uh, later on this year. I think it makes sense to come out September, October-ish, um, just in time. You know, so it's got a bit of time before Christmas, because uh, I think that would be such a massive, like, Christmas present for people. They'd be all over that, uh, but it didn't make sense to be here. But, of course, like, how do we rate this uh, Direct? Well, like, Luigi's Mansion was great, fantastic game. Zelda's Link Away Link's Awaiting was a fantastic game. Um, and then Animal Crossing looked great, but wasn't there. And that's kind of your three big ones. I know Pokemon was there. It didn't really show a lot because it didn't need to. Um, and then Marvel Ultimate Alliance was just... I, did, I, I can't wait for it, but it just looks like a very average game. It doesn't look like it's going to be phenomenal. But um, games, that I've got, before we get, get to the end in any way... Uh, Last um, Remnant was uh, announced to be coming... To, well, it came last night to Switch for, at the Square Enix conference, so that is out right now if you want to buy it. We're getting the um, Mana, Secret of Mana collection or whatever they called it, um, which is really weird. Why have they released both of them at the same time? Because I'm like... Well, maybe that's why they announced uh, the last Remnant was last night, because it's like everybody went to buy that who's into JRPGs, and then it's like, oh, now I've got to spend however much... Well, that uh, Secret of Mana collection is going to be expensive. Like, expect three games at that, that you think about it Final Fantasy 7 was like 18 pounds I think you're looking at about 30 quid which is quite steep but I think that's where they're going to go with it um, so those two games are, are available right now I think there was oh the Contra collection as well is available right now so lots of retro stuff um, all right now I really wanted Elder Scrolls Blades to be when they announced that at Bethesda I really wanted it to be right now but it's not even though the game is very very average uh, but that's later on this year as well. But that's later on this year as well. So, um, I mean, overall, I think it was a re it was it's probably one of the best shows without a doubt. 
is one of the best shows at E3. This E3 has been really naff, but Nintendo's kind of like right in their element right now, aren't they? Like they're kind of in the middle of the console generation, whereas the others are coming to the end, so it kind of makes sense. But um, so exciting to be a Nintendo fan right now. How Nintendo have turned themselves around from the Wii U is just phenomenal. Um, so overall, I think we're looking at about an eight. It had like good solid games that we're excited about, good third party support. Um, which is what Nintendo desperately needed, and and then that that Zelda <laughs> announcement at the end. What happened? Like, oh, I, this is what I'm saying. I have mixed feelings because they didn't put like a coming 2020, which makes me think it's not coming 2020. That's where I'm like, I wish you didn't tell me because I don't want to have to wait year upon year for it. But um, there you go. I do, I feel like it's weird because you'd think I'd be again, like I said, running around the room excited. But I think um. It's one of them where I didn't like. I feel like they did a good enough job. They should like them finishing on banjo was great. It would have been great if we got like the the rare, um, rare collection or something, rare replay at the end with that. But I think banjo was a good enough ending point for it. I didn't think they needed to push that. Um, but it depends when it comes out. If it comes out next year, then I get it and it it's great. But otherwise, I don't know. But great to be announced anyway. One of the, the one of the greatest games of all time is getting a sequel. <gasps> whoop, whoop. Okay, so um, that is us done. We are gonna have uh, there should be a video probably tomorrow where we'll just uh, we'll go over who won E three. Will it be Nintendo? You have to find out tomorrow. Um, but we'll go through who won E three out of all the conferences. Um, but yeah, that's us done for tonight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up you absolutely hate it of course you can give it a thumbs down and if you want to see every video coming out very soon hit that subscribe button hit the bell button you'll be notified of every new video coming out very soon let us know in the comments what did you think of the nintendo direct what was the best announcement what game showed best um let us know but it doesn't really matter because spiral's coming to switch so thanks for joining us see you very soon <laughs>